What's going on, everyone? So I wanted to do another uh, in the in the car vlog cast. So I'm driving and uh, <clears throat> thinking about thinking about the end of our lives and the um, the importance of living in light of the end, right? Living today in light of the end. You know, if we if we really think about the day that we stand before God, our triune God, <clears throat> it really puts in perspective what matters, what matters in our day to day lives, the things that we do, the relationships that we establish. And I think I, I've been thinking about that particularly uh, all, more often in this season because we're getting ready to come into the advent we're thinking of the birth of our lord and then we're thinking about um his death and resurrection <clears throat> and thinking about my death and the day where i will see him face to face and i'm also getting ready in the new year to preach to the book of Ephes oh, excuse me through the book of ecclesiastes <clears throat> so just thinking about the end in mind, thinking about living my life backwards, starting with the end in mind, and then making decisions daily that impact eternity, right? So, so what matters when you think about the whole of the decisions you make every day in your relationships? Um, it really puts into perspective the wasted time and the missed opportunities, right? Time wasted on social media or just stuff that really has no eternal weight of glory. Um, and yet, living with the end in mind, everything matters, right? So, so everything should be should be filtered through living for the glory of God in every area of our lives. So there are things that we do that are vanity, right? They're just a waste because we're not doing them by faith with the purpose of do uh, with the purpose of, of of honoring God and glorifying Him. That this would be something that would be redemptive, right? So, like, so for example, <clears throat> using our social media platforms, it's a waste of our time to be using them. Um. For the purpose of, um, for, for no end, no end in mind, right? Just just to be wasting time or just to be getting caught up in, in gossip and slander and or pro, pro, promoting gossip and slander. Um, and so really all that boils down to the condition of our hearts, right? Like, like how, how can we redeem the time in, in every moment and do things that, seem to be monotonous and yet and yet do them with the purpose living uh, with the end in mind with the end of our lives in mind right uh it, it really boils down to the, the 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 posture of our hearts like are we are we doing what we do um with with honoring christ in our hearts and in our minds and then by faith doing that for the glory of god right so those are things that <clears throat> I'm sober minded of today and this week and Lord willing in the days moving forward that my mind and my heart would constantly go back to those realities that I'm going to die and my death could be today, right? And so today, as I left the house, am I, am, am, did I, did I miss a moment to to engage with my family, to express to my wife my love for her and for my kids to see that and for my kids to know that I love them and that, that I'm proud of them and that, or, or that I needed to discipline them and correct them and instruct them. See, all, all these things, all these small interactions in our mundane lives matter, not just because one day we're gonna stand before God that's that's the end that's ultimate but they matter in time right so 
So there's something redemptive about my interactions with my family that transcend my life, right? And this is this is this is legacy. This is, um, uh, you know, this this is the, the, the this is what it means to leave a legacy. Living beyond yourself, yet knowing the mortality and the weakness of your life, and living in light of that in the day to day. So. These are things I'm thinking about, right? I'm going to the office now. What can I do? How can how how can I love the Lord, my God, with all my mind, my my heart, my soul, and my strength? How can I do that, right? How can I how can I um, love my neighbor as myself today as I interact with people, um, either from my congregation or from the community, um, right? How how can I express? Um, and, and, and then and then when it gets boring, right, or when it gets mundane to, to do the basics uh, by faith, continuing to do them, right? Continuing to do them with the end in mind, but also living in time. So <clears throat> there's a lot there to think about and meditate on. Um, I would love to hear maybe some of the things that you all do to, uh, to live sober mindedly, right? To live with a purpose. Uh, not not just to be squandering your days and wasting them and missing opportunities, but living with intentionality, living with a, a, a purpose and a zeal for the Lord that, that God would be honored in the moments of our days, that we would redeem the time because the days are evil, as Paul says in the book of Ephesians. So we'd love to hear your thoughts. Hope you all are having a good day. It is... We had our first uh, bit of snow out here in uh, Western New York. Here we go. Here we go. Next five to six months of snow. Let's go, baby. This is what we signed up for. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is The Proverbial Life, a podcast where we encourage Christians to look to Christ, live wisely, and leave a legacy behind for generations to follow. Grace and peace, y'all.